Uh, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Aisha Munira and these are my group members Sofrihana, Gaoyanmi, Zuzihan and Atira. Our group are going to present the topic classical school smithian. And next. Um, before we go into the main topic, I'm going to uh, share some overview for the presentation. Uh, first, I'm going to introduce the topic and then we're going to move to main ideas, contributions, and then we're going to conclude the whole presentations. So uh, classical school beginning 18th century originated by Adam Smith, a Scottish economist and a philosopher. He was born in 1723 at Kikildi, Scotland at the age of 13. He attended the University of Glasgow in Scotland studying moral philosophy. After graduated and won a scholarship in 1740, Smith enrolled in postgraduate studies at Balliol College at Oxford University. During his life, he known as the father of modern economy due to his contributions in introducing many new concepts in economy. Uh, after finish his studies, Smith then uh, earned his position at Glasgow University as a professor in 1751. Then after that, he transferred to uh, be the chair of moral philosophy in 1752. During the years working at Glasgow, he managed to publish one of his work, The Theory of Moral Sentiments, and he also published the most important one, which is The Wealth of Nations. Some highlighted ideas in his book are the philosophy of free markets and the concept of GDP. For further explanation, I will pass to my friend, Sofrihana. Next, uh, we will be on the main ideas of Adam Smith on classical school. Adam Smith created the concept invisible hand in his book, The Wealth of Nation. Before that, the definition of invisible hand is the unobservable market force that helps the demand and supply of goods in the free market to reach equilibrium automatically is the invisible hands. That's mean he assumed that in the free market system, when everyone is working for his or her personal benefit, an economy may, may function smoothly. He stated that an economy will work and perform better in comparison if the government allows people to freely purchase and sell among themselves. He proposed that if people were free to trade, self-interested traders in the market would compete with one another, causing the market to move in to move in the direction of positive production with the help of an invisible hands. If someone buys less in the free market, setting with no government con control or constraint, the client will buy from that person. Therefore, they must uh, drop their price or provide a better service than their opinion. When a sufficient number of people demand something, uh, the market will supply it and everyone will be satisfied. The buyer will get separate items uh, at the desired price and the supplier will get the price. Next slide. The second is the principle in the way of nation gave birth uh, to the concept of GDP and revolutionize the import-export market, which means that countries claim they are well based on the value of their gold, uh, gold and silver deposit prior to the publication of the well of nation. Smith uh, was a strong proponent of mercantilism, claiming that countries should be judged on the level of output and trade. The GDP statistic for evaluating a country prosperity was created on the basis of this concept. However, many countries were reluctant to trade with one another or at the time the way of nation was released. Smith maintained that the uh, free exchange should be established because the exchange benefit both countries. Import and export both increase at, as a result of this uh, shift in view towards trending. Smith also advocate for legislation to make trending as simple as feasible. Next. Yeah. Uh means main five countries. Uh, just have a look. Next page. 
and Smith's first contribution is that he developed the political economy into a complete system. He is one of the main representatives of the British classical political economy. He inherited and developed the research results of many distinguished economic thinkers and was the first to establish a relatively complete theoretical system and framework of the British classical political economics. His magnum ops, The Wealth of Nations, came to be regarded as one of the landmark works in the course of human history. Next page. And must be second contribution is the theory of division of labor. This refers to the separation of different parts of the production process according to the work's established ability and works equipment. It enhanced the production process, lending to a more efficient use of scarce resources. As well as lowering the cost of production, the division of labor greatly increased the quantity of work and frame could produce. The results of dividing labor are the increase in the scale of the work, reduced time losing up on switching production process, process. The division of labor was limited by the extent of the market. Smith argued that the division of labor will only take place when the population is large. That will create enough demand for specialized service. Next page. And Smith's third contribution was a critical of physical crisis and mercantilism. Physical crisis is an economic theory developed by a group of 18th century age of English and French economists who believed that the wealth of nation derived solely from the value of land agriculture or land development and that agriculture products. Mercantilism is an economic product text by which governments use their economy to augment state power and the expense of other countries. Governments sought to ensure that exports exceeded imports and to accumulate wealth in the form of billing, mostly gold and silver. Smith criticized the mercantilist Ananias view that wealth is derived from foreign trade and also abandoned the physical critic bears that wealth exists only in agriculture. The partiality was unjustified and the all items involving human work are worth it. Next, let our friends to introduce our next part. Uh, hello everyone, I will introduce uh, the remaining two point. Four point, the functions of government is uh, establish national defense to establish a rigorous judiciary and to establish and maintain necessary public work, which was later called the standard of a small government. In it, the government need only keep the peace, establish and maintain a tight system of law enforcement and uh, provide education and other mi minimum public localities. It need not uh, interfere in general economic affairs and can rest assured that the, each uh, in, individual has the freedom to act in his own way and that he will naturally contribute the most to the public good. In other words, a free social and economic system is basic condition for the smooth functioning of a market economy and economic growth. Next page. Five point, the four principle of taxation. The four principle of taxation is fairness, certainty and Citing in convenience and uh, economy, which are still the guidelines for taxation in all countries to this to this day. Regarding taxation, Adam, Adam Smith believes that taxation should be mainly supported and protected by the government after paying money. The time and the place of taxation must also be unified. The amount of taxation paid is customized by the state, and the tax should cause the least pressure on other people's financial resources in addition to paying the side treasury. Next page. 
and also at uh, Adam Smith's work on Wise of Nation content series that uh, supply describe the history trade away from materialism and the toward free trade, a trade that had been developing for decades and uh, had uh, a great uh, impact on government policy. In any case, Smith's work. Uh, Organized his series so so extensively that it remains one of the most important and influential books in economics today. Adam Smith's greatest contribution to economics was his doctrine of invisible hand. He ble he believed that there is a harmonious natural order in human society. Adam Smith's philosophical and economic idea influenced the later recorder, Moniz and Keynes. This is my part. Uh, let my friend uh, uh, introduce the next part. Uh, in summary, Adam Smith had contributed many contributions to the world in economics, such as the evolution of political economies into a total system and the diversions of labor concept as a strategy for development. The Political economy had reached the world about the production, trade, and their relationship with the law and the government. This study also teaches us how economic theory influenced various socio-economic systems, such as socialism and communism, as well as the formulations and implementation of public policy. Adam Smith became popular and remembered by the world for his work and contributions in the economy itself. Although he is no longer in the world, but his works will continue, uh, continue remains. The ideas he popularizes uh, life on in the classical school of economics and in its institutions like uh, the Adam Smith Institutes in Britain's leading free market neoliberal think tank. In 2007, the Bank of England placed Smith's image on the 20 pounds notes. Mm, that's all about the Smith's and from us, thank you.